Hey kids, hey lambs, and welcome back to the Hey Lamb podcast. It's me, Matt, aka Treacle. Catch me over on Instagram and Twitter at Treacle Tarts. Thank you to everyone, as always, who is getting behind the podcast. You can go over to Instagram. It's Hey Lamb Podcast over on Instagram. Get involved over there. Um, Normally the podcast comes out on Fridays, but I think, you know, I said this last week, there was a, I think I was absent for what, two weeks? I thought it was three weeks, but I think it was two weeks. And then um, a new episode went out last week at the weekend. And here we are again coming out at the weekend. So I'm doing the best I can, but life is busy. Um, so don't hate on me if it isn't religiously every week on Fridays. But as we get closer and closer marching towards Christmas, I really do want to make sure that I'm trying to get an episode out every week because because there's so much Mariah stuff going on. We haven't even hit December yet. There is so much to talk about. And today um, I'm very happy to welcome back two guests, two deep, deep friends of the pod. I've got Nath and Dimitri with me. Lambs, welcome, welcome. How are we? (laughs) Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Dimitri, all set up with your festive um, scene there, and oh my gosh, so, so festive. Oh my god, even the nails, bitch, check them. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's so good to to have you back. I haven't spoken to you, um, well, we've we've been voice notes only on Insta for months. You've been so busy, and I've been so busy, so it's so good to have you back. Um, What time is it for you over there, remind me? Like 12, 12, 20? 12, 30, yeah, noon. Uh, and yeah, here it's coming up for 8.30 p.m. Friday nights, coming from work and just jumps on with you boys. Um, Nath, I know you're not feeling very well, bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Are you, are you all right, darling? <laughs> um, I'm probably being a little bit dramatic. Probably like anybody that knows me is probably like, it's just been dramatic, but I feel like shit. Um, but, you know, I'm going to do the best with, with what I've got. So, you know. Nath, we'll being make it dramatic, happen. never, never. <laughs> <laughs> we love the drama, darling. We love the drama. I love it's, it. It's actually it, it's cool to hang out with you again, Nathan. But it, it's it's actually weird, like doing it this way because I'm sat at the table, and the last time we um, were doing a podcast together was only like what three, four weeks ago, and you were here, and you were sat literally just there. I'm in my regular spot. You were just on the other side of the table, so it's weird going back, you know, to doing it this way. Um, First, first question, guys. Uh, what do we, what do we think of falling in love at Christmas, Dimitri? I'm coming to you. Like, I mean, I mean, we all, we all saw the reaction video. So first of all, <laughs> if you haven't, guys, you've got to go and check out Dimitri's reaction video on his YouTube Thank channel. You. Link will be in the description. But yeah, where, where are we now with it? How do we feel about her now, Dimitri? Oh, she's on repeat still. <laughs> I absolutely, absolutely love it. I love all I want for Christmas is you, and of course, the rest of Mariah Carey's Christmas catalog. But, I mean, it's new, so it's fresh. We love it. And um, I don't know. It's just she never disappoints. And it's such a beautiful melody and just not so, like, over-the-top Christmas. You know, she's giving us, like, real, like, Mariah Carey R&B, of course, like, gospel. Um, I just I, I can't get enough of it. And then I know you said that um, you have the the one without the outro at the end, the radio edit. That's yeah. the one you have on in rotation in your playlist because that's yeah. like the vibe. But I just can't live without the outro. Like I have to, <laughs> the the grace upon grace upon, I just can't get enough of that. I do enjoy it. And I, I love Mariah giving gospel, but it's just such a different mood. And I think the song is so like just tight as it is. Um, and a couple of people, I think actually Josh last week's guest was like, maybe he could have been like a little bit shorter. And I'm like, no, 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 I like, I like the song as it is. But then if I have it without the outro, then it makes me want to listen to um, the first Noel and mm-hmm. when Christmas comes. And I feel like I can sequence it and make like a little playlist. And I'm still experimenting with that. But as soon as then we have the gospel moment, I'm like, well, I don't know where to put you now because now I'm in a, di- I'm, you know, what comes next? I'm in a different, I'm in a different mood. So I am, uh, I felt a bit shy to say it first. Like I am playing the radio edit. That is the one that is on playlists and stuff. But I do love the gospel outro. Um, it's just such a mood kind of shift. I don't know. I don't know. Nate, talk to us. What What are you feeling about it now? It's been, oh, hit my table. It's been like uh, a week. Uh, oh my gosh. What's it been? A week? A week and a bit? Where are we? A week. One week. It's been one week. A week. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I really like it. Um, I refrain from 
paying too much attention to like the snippets that she posted and things and um I I I I really like it and I like the gospel like grace upon grace upon and things. Um I played it to my mum last night and she was like it's too busy, you know, you know, she was like, What's that song? Uh, we belong together. Um and I was like, Don't what that song we belong together <laughs> Um <laughs> But, you know, I just, you know, she's like, it's too busy, you know, why can't she just, you know, sing? Why does she have to have all these people behind her? And I'm like, mom, it's music. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I like it. It's festive. Um, I'm hoping that the special has a little bit more like of an upbeat number. Um, but it, it's nice, you know, it, like you said, you know, uh, it makes you want to listen to When Christmas Comes and, the first Noel and, and things. So I, I like it. Yeah, I love the dreamy. And it's gospel. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's just different vibes. I love the fact we've got some R&B, we've got some gospel. It's not like, let me cram a very, very obviously Christmas song down your throat. It's, it is Christmassy, mm-hmm. but it's not overtly. And I hope we do get something that is really, really Christmas. I mean, last year with Sleigh Ride, that was so camp. I like it. That was like... Boom, in your face, a Christmas song and really camp number. I love that. But this, I love the fact it's a bit more, um, like, pulled back. Like, it's just a good melody. Like, forget that it's, it's Christmassy. And that music video, she looks so good. My favourite look is, is is the goal. But actually, here's a question. Do we think that's actually from the special? Or is this, like, a completely separate thing? Is this song, Is are we going to have some, like, this in the special? I don't know. What do you mean by that? From the special? Like, is, is this just a standalone music video or is this lifted from the special? Like, is the song going to be in the special? I think, I think it is. Because I, I feel, from the music video, it feels very homely and it feels like they've just, you know, sat down and drinking... Um, Black Eye? Black Eye, Is that what it's called? <laughs> right. We oh, don't know because we, we don't have it here, unfortunately. There's Dimitri waving. Oh, my God, cute miniature. Oh, my God, that's like a bottle of poppers. I don't know which way to... <laughs> don't snort that, darling. <laughs> um, so I, I think it's very like, oh, you know, with because you know the transitions in the special from last year where it's like, you know, she's in the house and she's like, okay, I'm on the way. Um I can do that because of my husky voice at the moment. <laughs> um, but she, um, it feels very like transitiony, like it's yeah part of like a like they've just transitioned from you know welcoming Khaled and Kirk at the door and and things. So that's my opinion. Anyway. And and I, I I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's a music video, and she's got all the snow outside, and I'm like, well, they probably dressed it up to so she's got those at home christmas scenes like you just said and like she's in her apartment and stuff but it it just presents as a music video but i'm sure the song is going to be in the special because why would you have such an amazing christmas song and not put it in the special dimitri do you think it's like it's in the special and that or, or is it is it separate like how did you like interpret it well i don't remember when or where i read it I think she tweeted or somewhere like the only, there's only going to be one performance of the song like during the special, right? First and only, her first and only first performance. First and only performance. Taken from so, the special. Maybe it did say taken from the special. Yeah, and I, I, that's what I think. That's like what I remember. I don't remember exactly what it said, but that's just what my memory, if my memory is <laughs> correct. Um, I don't know. No, I can't say that. <laughs> it, it could be it could be a transitional moment, like like you say, Ned. I, I I can't wait to see what comes next. I said I um you know exploring ideas last week with last week's guest Josh, and we still think we've got more gospel. I still think we've got the Clark sisters. I'm really excited that I'm I'm you know, I'm ready. I was almost maybe like the outro now is like to kind of warm us up and then I think we're going to go full gospel um, for the Clark sisters. Are there any, apart from the Clark sisters, oh, and then um, again, shout out to last week's um, guest, Josh, because he always slides in my DMs and says, oh, what about this? What about that? Remember she was saying about doing like background vocals for something with uh, Brandy? And is yes. that, is Brandy going to pop up? Like we're thinking maybe the Clark sisters. We know she was trying to do something with Brandy. Are there any other 
possibilities or rumors that I'm forgetting anyone else that might pop up or anyone that we're hoping might pop yeah. up? What do you think? Ariana? Uh, I'd like another collab with yeah. Ariana, but I'd like it to be more of like a, a non-Christmas song from mm-hmm. Ariana and Mariah. Yeah, I think they should do Yeah, I don't think they pop. would do two Christmas ones. No, no. Dimitri, I, I, yeah, is, is, there anything, is there anyone else, anything else I'm forgetting about? I thought it really was just the Clark sisters. I'm Brandy, as you said. I'm not even too familiar with um, what everybody's been saying about the Clark sisters. I've been busy. I've been missing all this Mariah news. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was just uh, like an unfounded rumor. And then one of them pretty much confirmed something because there was one of them. I'm really, I know Karen. I know Karen Clark shared. I love her. I, I've got her albums. But another Clark was... Um, receiving an award or something there's a video clip very short video clip that appeared on twitter and she's just saying something she just wanted to name drop there was no reason she's there by herself at a little microphone moment and and she just says something on the lines of and of course my sisters would um, have just been doing something with miss mariah carey and that's going to be great and then she just it moved on like it's just a little snippet and she just name dropped and she pretty much confirmed the the clark sisters have done have just done something with Mariah and this was um maybe getting on for like six to eight weeks ago or something so I'm like yeah the timing fits they've just uh shot something filmed something so I'm I'm really hopeful I'm really hopeful um for now we're just sitting tight and waiting for more news on the music front but it's been a busy week because hello McDonald's and Masterclass I mean let's start with McDonald's I called it. I called it. I said it here on 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 the show. I think it was like October third, right start of October. I like to keep my ear to the ground, um, and 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 I really thank you everyone who like sends me DMs and like tags me in tweets and things, um, because I'll wake up and I love I get, I get um everyone over in America. And I wake up and I'm like tag 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 DMs DMs and stuff. And there was. I can't remember the Instagram account, but there were there were so many rumors for next year. Like, there's going to be another Vegas residency. There's going to be a song, a single, Black Box. Then there's going to be an album, la da da. But the Clark sisters, I think, came from there. Um, and then they were saying about McDonald's, and they didn't like directly say McDonald's, but it was like, oh, that has to be McDonald's. They're intimated. But I thought it makes sense because we had Walker's crisps mm-hmm. before. Um, so I put it out there, and a lot of people were like, no, 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 that's too like not the vibe it's more no not mcdonald's no no more i wouldn't i was like well that was my reaction with the walker's crisps for us it's like lays dimitri so it's just like it's just okay it's like the brand to go to for yeah. a chip a crisp but really you know i was like well you know she's done cookies she's done she's done walker's crisps so i believe it i believe it um and then it just boom came out of nowhere, Dimitri, are we are we feeling McDonald's? Are you feeling because we can't partake over here? I believe it's an American exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. How are you feeling, and will you be ordering? <laughs> oh, I'll be ordering. I'm going to get me some McNuggets. Um, okay, so it's McDonald's, and you do Mariah and McDonald's. Even though, like you know, steady feeling for them fries at McDonald's, and we have like photos of Mariah at McDonald's and whatnot. I never thought this this would happen. However, if any fast food chain, why not the biggest one? You know, mm. um, if Mariah's going to do something, you know, she's going to go with the biggest. And also, like, they were, there's, like, meals, like the Sweden meal. And, like, everybody had meals. Of course, Mariah had to, like, top it and do a, an entire menu. So I'm like, okay, at least she's being really Mariah about it and, like, <laughs> topping everybody. Yeah. Um, so I love that. But yeah, I'll be eating, else I'll be eating. <laughs> 12 days of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, it's a limited thing, is it? It's like 12 days, 12 days. And, you, yeah. and I'm really confused because, like, I'm watching the, the ad and it, it's a lot to take in because, like, oh, my God, it's new visual. Like, she's in a dress. What's she wearing? How she stood? How she sounded? And I'm like, hang on. It ends. I'm like, wait, what is the promotion? Isn't it, like, for those 12 days, like, it's basically each different day there's, like, a free menu item or something? Is that, like, almost like an advent calendar? Is that what it is? Yeah, so it's mostly like to like um, promote their app. Um, so you have to order from the app. As long as you spend a minimum of one dollar on the app, then you get 
whatever free item there is of the day. Okay. So like the first day is like, I think like a Big Mac and the second day is like chicken nuggets and then cookies the third day or I'm um, probably out of order, but that's basically what it so is. So it's free, yeah, free product over the day. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I, McDonald's is huge. McDonald's is globally huge. I don't know if like Americans and Brits interpret it um, differently. Oh, I think my camera, forgive me, my camera has just... Uh, I've lost my camera. It's the Nathan Dimitri show now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, I'm going to try and fix this as we keep recording. Um, oh, not that camera. That's the wrong one. We don't want that one. Um, Nathan, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Oh my god, this is. I know just how you mess. feel about camera angles. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to try and fix this. Um, but for those that okay, there's a shot of my desk while I try and fix this. Nathan, how do you think of this whole McDonald's situation? I mean, it's McDonald's, like, what's she thinking? <laughs> <laughs> was that your initial reaction? <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was like, oh, it's a new, like, Mariah video. Like, Any time there's, like, a new Mariah video, I'm so excited because I'm like, what's she going to be like? <clears throat> you know, what's she wearing? What's her hair doing? Like, if they're going to be like, like, darlings and things. And then she was like, because initially all I saw was the, um, the photo where it's like red curtains, her in the red gown, and then she's like this. Oh yeah, yeah, just holding the phone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was like, like what? And I was like zooming in, and I'm like, what? Like what is it? And then I saw a video, and was like, I was on my break at work, and I'm like, McDonald's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, McDonald's. like, there are so many like. Um, I saw somebody uh, do like, I, I think it's a rumour, but the specials are going to be like, fries like a bird. <laughs> like, like songs and things. So I don't know if that's true or not. No, but I don't think I that's true. So many yeah. other, like Starbucks should have been the one she went to because you've got Divas and Everlate, a Caricino, an Americarino. Like there's just so many things that she could have done at Starbucks. And it's McDonald's. <laughs> well, but McDonald's, but think, the, the thing is McDonald's is global. So I'm like, is this like a last minute thing? But j j no, mm, no, because I think all the meals, like that's not like an American thing. Nathan, I don't have, do we, we don't do that over here, do we? We don't have like celebrities doing meals and things add. over here. I feel, I feel like I'm really behind on it because I feel like it's an American thing. I don't think we do that here, do we? Correct me if I'm wrong. It, I don't think so. But it's also the point that like, I don't see McDonald's Christmas menu being iconic and like um, famous. I see Starbucks and Christmas menu being famous. Like everyone can't wait for the Christmas menu. And, yeah, but you're know, biased, yeah. bitch. You've worked for them. You're biased. Like I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't even think about Starbucks. It's not part of my. It's Mariah Carey. <laughs> maybe maybe um i guess mcdonald's just came with the the bigger check they had the they had, they had the coins what are you holding up oh a starbucks mug okay so yeah yeah of course you would love okay you're both there waving a starbucks at me i'm here with the water water's I'm better starbucks. for the skin boys um <laughs> i've got water here too. this is water oh, okay okay all right um but yeah so nath would love a starbucks club i think mcdonald's kind of makes sense to meet you how i mean especially for america but to meet you like like we don't have the celebrity meal things. I I I've kind of catching up on this over the past like year, and I'm like, what? Like celebrities do like a a meal, but I'm like, well, celebrities are doing food like left, right, and center. So is it like a really big thing? And like, are you aware of others? Like, who else has done McDonald's, you know, and stuff? So it's like newer. Um, it's like a newer trend thing that's going on over here. Like I know Saweetie had a meal. I believe J Balvin had a meal. Um, I could be wrong on that, J Balvin. Um, and I, I don't know, I can't think of the other artists, but like, it's just a promotion. There's nothing like really special about the meal. It's literally something that's already on the McDonald's meal menu, but they just like, what do they order when they go to McDonald's? Just, yeah. Like pick their eat. favorite. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it, like it works for McDonald's cause I, I'll be ordering, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't eat McDonald's, but I'll be eating McDonald's now. Um, but yeah, so I think, I don't think it's that like far fetch, especially because it is the holidays. 
um, it's a huge corporation. Um, and she, like I said, she did the menu instead of the meal. So, and Megan the Stallion, like she did it with Popeyes. So she has like the hottie sauce at Popeyes. Oh my God. Right. That's going on currently. So it's just like the new trend for celebrities to collaborate with fast food. Chains. We need to get on board with that over here. I- I'll catch up or something. Cause I'm like, we, we just don't have, we just don't have it. Like Mariah doing Walker's crisps. I was like, well, that, that does kind of make sense. But it was a bit like, I want to say like tacky, but cause it was done so well. It really was done so well. But over here, I was like, it's just the concept of a celebrity partnering with like Burger King or KFC or McDonald's. Like I have to remind myself, oh yeah, that Ooh. happens in America. I, I, I kind of yeah. forgot. It's not completely random. Um, other people have done that before her. <laughs> This is the most random thing she's that like she's done. Do I think this is the most think random? It's really random. No, especially because yeah. I heard rumors. So I, I was like, I was, I was expecting this. I kind of forgot about it, but um, when it came, up, I was like, yep, I knew it. Well, the most random thing where I've ever done, in my opinion, is the game of war. Like what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that is like okay nobody was do like mariah game of war like it's not trendy at the moment at least this fast food thing is trendy and i am frozen <laughs> oh you're not frozen but, for me uh, i can i can i can still see you i would say game of war and also that yeah that water that um pink uh-huh. sparkling water that felt really oh the butter random yeah. yeah the butterfly drink um 2013 14 that that felt that felt really really random i don't know i want to talk more about um mcdonald's i want to talk about the artwork and the ads and everything but we need to take a very quick break so we'll get stuck into that artwork especially referencing the meme right after this break So we have Mariah in the red dress, which is, um, oh my gosh, which dress? I, okay, Mariah Carey Closet to the rescue, that Instagram account. Um, because she wore the dress or very, very similar in 2000, was it 14 or something? You guys remember the black dress? The Dolce & Cabana, mm-hmm. the, the, the uh, yeah. Oh, God, I think it was Golden Globes. Golden anyway, Gabbana. yeah, she looks so good. But come on, um, the, the meme... I mean, that's, that's the dress, her walking out. Like, she's in on the joke. What did you guys think of that? I mean, her walking out of the the ocean where she, <laughs> like, it's Christmas, I'm back. Like, it's pretty much what it is is symbolizing. Because, mm-hmm. I first of all, it took me a hot second to realize she's referencing, or McDonald's in, I'm all right, are referencing the meme. And I was like, oh, no, this is an awful Photoshop image. I was cringing. And I was like, and McDonald's is in the ocean. And I was like, Oh, I get it. Okay, it's the meme. You know, it's that time of year. Christmas is over. Mariah returns to the to the ocean for another year. So she's she's poking fun at that. And then I was like, what? Well, I think it's a deliberately bad Photoshop, but it's meant to look like a reply to the meme. So I think it's fun, but I just won't not worry. But I like I just wonder if everyone gets it. Like I showed it to. Um, my non-lamb friend, um, Nath Adam, you uh, know and enjoy Adam. Um, and he looks there and he's just like, what? And I'm like, you better get this because you send me that fucking meme. At, like, every, you know, you send it to me every December. He's like, what meme? I'm like, oh, for God. I pulled it up. He's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, well, look at the meme. And then look at what McDonald's have posted. He's like, oh, okay, I get it. But he didn't get like a giggle out of it or anything. I was like, oh, "Fuck you, bitch." Whatever. But anyway, what did you guys? <laughs> fuck him. What did you? <laughs> what did you guys um, think of it? Do you think it was smart, clever, pointless? Like what? Don't be so rude about Adam. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen. I can say what I want. No, love him, love him. But yeah, bless um, you coming to his defense. But yeah, go on. What did you? What did you think of that? That image, her coming out of the ocean. I. It did take me a while to get it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, but I think Mariah isn't afraid of taking the like the piss out of herself. Like yeah. she doesn't. Like she, the thing what I love about her is that she doesn't take herself too seriously. Um, and I try to do the same. Um, but she, I think sometimes she takes herself too seriously, and sometimes she takes herself. She doesn't really take stuff seriously because I, recently I saw a Lady Gaga um, 
bit of a tangent. I saw a Lady Gaga video and she goes, you know, no, I think people take me too seriously and not seriously, seriously enough. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I think that's Mariah as well. Like, nobody really takes her seriously. But in other senses, they take her too seriously. And it's like, it's a freaking joke. Like, yeah, it ain't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like like she's like, she's yeah. being frivolous and she's you know poking fun at herself and she's having fun with something like the walker's crisps ad and they will look at that and go she's ridiculous so i can't take her seriously it's like but that's the point she's being deliberately ridiculous like and you can't like just have a laugh you can't like you know you need her to be mariah the diva painfully unaware of the shtick so you can laugh at her but the minute you kind of interpret that actually maybe she is in on the joke and she's turning it around then you're like oh no no like you can't have it both ways and that that annoys me oh mm-hmm. uh, is it a hostel hotel thing she did was like the yeah. fans like you brought me to a hostel yeah yeah that was good i don't think when she's poking fun at the diva image i love it i love it um dimitri what did, what did you uh, think of the mcdonald's promo specifically the the you know walking out of the ocean in the red dress <laughs> Um, it did take me a while as well, not to, I didn't get it on my own. I had to get on Twitter and I was like, oh, okay, th- this is so clever. It's so funny. Um, and yeah, I just love when she like is in on the joke or gets in on the joke because it's like, you can't laugh at me if I'm laughing with you type thing. Yeah. Um, and it, and like, even before the, that, you know, McDonald's ad came out, I was like, okay, I really hope that next year Mariah plays on the, like, defrosting, like, Mariah's defrosting. (laughs) Like, next year, like, during the, like, it's time (laughs) thing, like, if she, like, defrosts, that would be amazing because that the amount of times that that meme got sent to me this year from, like, non-lambs or just, like, my family or friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, we get it. We get it. But if she's in on it, then it'll just be iconic, so... Um, I just good. love when she's in on the joke. La- last year w- w- uh, wasn't the one because she was active and people, you know, send me that meme. I'm like, bitch, no, no, I've had the rarities. I've had MC30. I've had a yeah. memoir. She's been, she's been in my life daily. Sorry about you, boo, but I'm good. She's been with me the whole 2020. In fact, she saved my 2020. Whereas this year she has been quiet for like a while so the whole defrosting thing maybe could have worked and actually shout out um to again to to adam he actually said that when he looked at the meme you know the thing he's like okay yeah cool but if they'd really committed he said and like they really went for it like she could have been like it was a video of her like coming out of the ocean you know that whole like she has been away for the whole year now she's like to me, she says like defrosted and stuff. I think that would be that would be cool because I love I love the whole it's it's not time it's time thing with the pumpkins. But every year it's got to be like something different, something different. Maybe next year if she has like a really quiet year, it would really work. But I feel like this year would have been the one because next year I feel like she's gonna be really busy. I feel like maybe we are gonna get a Vegas residency. Maybe we are gonna get um, uh, a studio album. Uh, so next year she's gonna be a bit more on people's faces. Maybe this year would have been the one for the whole defrosting thing. But overall, I think the McDonald's promo isn't like big, big, big budget. It's not as much as like Walker's. But that went for a while. This Mariah menu is gonna be for you know, 12 days or whatever, but it's cute. It, she looks gorgeous and, and I'm happy there's not just images, there's there's video. And there's a Facebook group, I forget her name, but um, her, one of, I think her parents own a McDonald's. So there was a separate email that went out to franchises and there's a video of Mariah talking, like this is like a corporate one. So it's like, you know, hey team, hey guys, um, whatever, here's what's happening. And then there'll be a few little treats for the team and whatever. So there's like a separate video that was just for like McDonald's um, employees and stuff. And it's in a face. And then there was an email and she put like the email up and everything. So she was really excited when that kind of came in on the family email. <laughs> That's how she learned about it. So that is out there somewhere in uh, on, on loser book somewhere. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with McDonald's. It's not like bowling me over. We can't participate. But Dimitri, I hope you enjoy your Mariah fries and wash them down with Black Irish. Do it all, do it for us Brits as well. <laughs> In the Black Irish. <laughs> can you actually, yeah, can you just like tell us a little bit about your experience of Black Irish? Because I just have major FOMO. Like, you know, do you genuinely enjoy it? Do you have a favourite? Like, you know, what, what are you tipping? What are you sipping? So my favorite is the original. Um, they are all very sweet. 
Um, but no, I enjoyed them. Like, I mean, I drank all three bottles by myself. <laughs> um, no, it's really delicious, really sweet. I feel like um, they could be very holiday-ish. Like, I think like this is the time to be like making, you know, festive drinks with, you know, mixed drinks. I just drank them straight and they were very sweet, but I think um, in like a mixed drink or something, it'd be even better. Uh, yeah, I genuinely love it. Well, I hope we get it over here. Yeah, I think it has to be with a name change or something. That's the whole problem over here. So I think it needs to be Mimi's Black Irish or something. I just want those bottles in my kitchen. They're just so cute. There they are. Clink, clink, clink. Me too. <laughs> we need the them. The other we day, need um, them. I had some lambs over the other day and I was like, oh, let's have some Black Irish. And I like, and then one of the lambs was like, they're all empty. And I was like, no, they can't be. And I was like, wow, I really. <laughs> It like, like shake, it in it. shaking them to make sure. <laughs> well, you have you have to make sure that you approve of the product. You have to have a thorough, a thorough testing of the taste. I was like, is it good or am I tripping? Let me have it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which one's my favorite? I don't remember. Pour away. Oh, <laughs> you nearly overshot the cup. <laughs> <laughs> there was some left they lied to me <laughs> the other piece of news and this is unconfirmed it's a very very heavy rumor run around with strong legs is mariah's masterclass and this i did not hear any thing of um nath you're aware of this yeah we, we've been chat we've been chatting we've been chatting in in the thread Oh, your audio is absolutely dire. Sorry, listeners. Nath is battling through a cold and poor internet connection. Is it confirmed? No, it's not confirmed. It's, it, is it is confirmed. It is. As of when? I've been at it work is. all day. Yeah. Is it? There's there's a, there's like a screen like a screen grab of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've seen that. Yeah, there's like a screen grab. Yeah, yeah and it, yeah, it's a new image of her. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Um, and it says like spring 2022, and I'm like, but there's a screen grab from where? Like, you know, I want to see it. You know, in situ, not just like cropped and you know floating around. But I didn't know anything about this. This was completely news to me. Um, makes sense. And then if we think back to those Twitter spaces, and she was saying. Oh, it, it, it isn't an album, but it is, I, I don't, it's new music. I don't, it's not an album. It's visual. It's, you guys don't understand. Like you're going to get, I can't say too much. You're going to get to see me. People are going to get to really see the process. And I'm excited about it. I'll be there with an engineer. And I'm like, what is she talking about? It's, it's new music, but it's not an album. And you're going to see her, but she doesn't even care. She's on the cover of it. I was like, what is this project? And I was thinking it's going to be like an album, but she's going to do like a little documentary or it's like, you know, let's not rather just boom, here's a song. We actually get like a little mini, I don't know, like a Netflix thing or an Amazon thing where it's like you get to see Mariah constructing a song and exploring melodies and lyrics. And then at the end of the process, boom, there's a song and then we get the song or the EP release. I was like, I, I was creating narratives in my head, but I think this whole time she was talking about this. So she's not just, I bet she's using examples of like her own melodies and songs and she'll show how she's like, you know, layered vocals and all this and whatever. But I think she's taken the opportunity to create some new music. So maybe we're going to get a couple of songs out of this. Are you guys familiar with the Masterclass format? I've never paid or subscribed or, or anything. Have, have you guys got any experience with it? We're, we're all kind of shaking our heads at each other here. Yeah, but it's something that I, I really... I I really enjoy seeing a, like a, a an artist at work. Like I love seeing like um, I don't know, like even just Mariah holding a notebook. It, Does it for you? I, I I get like goosebumps, but I don't know if that's because I'm a writer myself, and I kind of that's less. It makes her more relatable, but just to see her like going like no I want to sing that line again like let me do it like this and like I think it was yeah the emancipation um the E equals MC squared era when she's in the thing and she's like oh yeah so this song is like this and that song's like that and then there's a clip of her going um can you take me back to verse two I want to sing that line again and then she's like you know la, 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 la. and then I liked and, I do like those I but really they, they were very for me they were very um 
like staged you know like she's there in like full like that's not her I don't take that as her genuinely genuinely like working really? on the song yeah I'm like but that, that song's done that song is finished you're like oh let, it's like how to finish painting you pick up the brush and you're just going over the same color again it's a little it was a little bit like that for me um like she's oh let me do that bit again it's like you've already got the vocals locked in but you're you're like showing us that you can you know and it's nice to see her just you know just hear her like unfiltered you know but what it what it, I do get excited by it, and um, you're too young for this Nath um Fame Academy like 2002 um, through the rain, charm Ooh, bracelet. An Academy. <laughs> you, do you remember? Do you remember seeing her? Like um, she did Fame Academy. Uh, so for, oh my gosh! So Dimitri, Fame Academy was like X Factor um, type thing. The BBC tried exactly. to do their own their own thing, and they took all these like performing arts, like singers and people, like kids, whatever, like kids, like young, young adults, teenagers, um, and they put them in this like this house, and they had like um, you're going to be a pop star, so you need. Um, a dance coach you need a vocal coach and whatever and then it was every week there's a live show and people get voted off and everything so it's like x Factor, but the bbc tried and then mariah went in um and they did they put them on background vocals for through the rain so it's a through the rain prom a promotion for her um and uh she did not sing live on the bbc um and neither did they they laid down their vocals which was a bit of a weird thing because it was all about performing like anyway anyway i digress so that was on like the main channel mm -hmm. bbc one but we had this whole like back in the day it was like you know press the red button you know to get like extra footage and i remember i remember being um with some lambs and we went online to watch and there was mariah in the studio with the fame academy kids helping them lay down their background vocals that then ultimately ended up you know on on the song and everything and that was her genuinely coaching them because there was like it was almost like there was like one cameraman sort of pressed up against the wall and the camera's just like doing this it was very like home video type thing and she's there in like the velour you know um top and the jeans and the curly curly hair and the shades and and the kids are going in to the booth like what uh, sometimes she sometimes she put them in um like two at a time or one at a time and she was so like encouraging but like oh like do you mind if i give you a little no like mm, and they're like yeah of course they're completely starstruck but even like how they pronounce like rain she's like it's through the rain you know like trying to pull the the, the, the vowel sounds in certain directions she was so specific and she was they were recording their vocals in front of her and she was coaching them and she would then give them some examples. It was like back and forth. She's like, no, can you do it? I'm sorry to be really picky. Can you do it a little bit more like this? Like they really got to see like, no, she does this. She's not just like go in, do whatever. Like she knows how she wants it to sound. Um, and we were like, oh my God, this is like uninterrupted footage for like, I, I don't know, I could be wrong, like an hour of just watching Mariah in the studio with these fame academy kids and that was completely genuine she knew the camera was there but it wasn't like for the camera it wasn't for, she wasn't even looking at the camera she's just genuinely um with them and i'm like that got me really really happy back then and if we get some kind of moments i don't know like that her in the studio when it's genuine i mean i was happy to see her in the studio but i feel like sometimes it's like artists do that like they've laid down the track and then they get a bit of footage of them creating the track and really they're doing the finishing touches but like actually genuinely like mid process or early process i think that'd be really really exciting mm -hmm. that being, um, i always wanted the emotion zero where she's like singing can't let go uh i forget where she's like, she's got, like the the headphones like here like going up and then she's like even though i try and then there's like people like around her doing the backing vocals with her, like at the at the, the exact same. Oh, time. I think I remember. I think I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I really, I hope, I hope we get something. Um, I, well, I say genuine. We are. It's going to be like a masterclass. I don't know, Dimitri. Sorry, what, what were you going to say? What do you think of this? Um. So, I have an insider. Not really. I just know somebody who took a masterclass. Um. I don't know whose masterclass irrelevant, but um, not the person. The fact that who I know took a masterclass is irrelevant. Anyways, um, and he said that it's like storytelling. Like the masterclass he took was them like storytelling about like how like their entire process, and it's it was more of that versus like um, like teaching, like a 
like lessons, like less lessons and more of like storytelling. But I mean, I don't know. He was like, but that's just the masterclass I took. So, yeah. So I don't know. Because there's different. there's loads. There are so many. There's and it's it's not all music. I mean, um, I know like RuPaul's one always pops up because I follow so many drag queens. That one at the time always comes. I was like, no, no, no. I don't need. <laughs> I don't want RuPaul life coaching me today. Thank you. Um, but there's so many. There's like screenwriting or like writing a novel or um gordon ram gordon ramsay's there cooking like there's so many different people i'm a little bit miffed that mariah's doing it now after christina has just done hers she's done her singing masterclass um fairly recently but then someone i read on twitter i don't know so uh, this is um could be nonsense you guys tell me but apparently christina's fiance produces the masterclasses so there's like a connection there. And then people were like, oh my God, Mariah's going into the masterclass family knowing that they are produced by Christina's fiance. Is this a bit of fence mending? Are we finally going to get that Mariah Christina moment? I'm like, hell no, I don't need that. Um, Christina does her thing. I don't thing. know what that would sound like. I don't know, I don't know what that would sound like either. Um, let's <laughs> ponder that while we go to our, our second break. Let's have a little think what that might sound like. Thanks for listening to Hey Lamb, guys. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, you can leave me a little tip. You can buy me a drink over on buymeacoffee.com. It is a great way to show your support to your favorite creators by buying them a drink. Simply head over to buymeacoffee.com slash hey lamb and you can tip me with a little drink. Cheers. <laughs> We're back, we're back, but um, oh, yeah, God. so according to uh, Nath, Dimitri has a face for audiobooks. <laughs> that was a lovely piece of career advice. How do you feel about that, Dimitri? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I didn't he mean said it like that, that I should not feature my face, only my voice. Yeah, all this, all the, all this action. His voice is what I meant. All these, all these Instagram stories. We don't want to look at you, Dimitri. Nath just wants to hear you. He just wants to listen to you. <laughs> I tease, oh I tease. Well, are we recording now? Uh yeah, we're back. We're back. Um quick oh, sidebar. <laughs> okay, no, let, let's talk, let's finish let's finish masterclass. Let's finish masterclass. So I don't know much about them. I think it's it's it is it's expensive, but I I am not going to sing. I am not going to learn to sing, but of course I'm going to um subscribe or purchase like whatever it is, because I want to see Mariah in the studio. And then if it is like you have to pay a monthly amount and then you can access different things, I don't know how it works, then I will dip into some that I might be interested in. Whatever, I might say to uh, some friends, hey, I've got a subscription, like what are you interested in? Or whatever. So yeah, she will be getting my coins. I don't know how it works. I think there's like a series of lessons or moments. I think it's, I don't know, six, seven, eight, whatever. So I think this is gonna, it's not like a one hour thing. This is, I think gonna be, it's more in depth. That's why it's what, you know, you pay this money. So, um. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I, I, I hope we're going to get like some new music out of it. I hope she's not just going to be rehashing like stuff that she's done. I think that she has created some non-holiday music out of this. And then the song kind of it links it's like, oh, well, you know, I was experimenting. I was doing this and I actually ended up with something I quite liked. We fully developed it. You can see me go through that process in my masterclass. But by the way, here's the finished song. I think it would actually work pretty well. So I might get like an EP mariah the masterclass sessions or something i don't know i don't know do you think it's likely dimitri that we'll get some new music out of this um it did cross my mind and then i was like maybe i'm just being hopeful um i don't know i don't know if she would i don't know it's mariah so she always tries to tie in music with things so <laughs> possibly um uh, but i'm not sure I don't, she I could don't, do I, she could I would do anything. say more so no i would say she's not going to tie in music with masterclass especially no i will leave that part out but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh nath what do you think uh would you know would you have her create some new music along you know as part of this masterclass thing or would you have her stick to her catalog and maybe just reinterpret or redo things you know like existing songs um i uh um I think that she, um, shit, um, what was I saying? I don't know, where were you going with that? 
What would you rather, new music or existing music? <laughs> oh, so I, I'd like a hybrid, like, a, you know, her like stripping, um, stripping on, you know, like stripping here, right? Just stripping, just stripping. <laughs> Just get the twins out. Um, Stop it. It's been her, a like, really long day. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm to- You've got bad audio. I'm talking over you. The whole show is, is moments away from collapsing. I'm so sorry. It's been a really long day for me, and my contact lenses need to come out anyway. And now I'm looking at how pink in, around the eye I am, and you just made me laugh then. I, I swear to God, my contact, like, nearly fell out. Um, so I, all I got was <laughs> I lost you after I lost you after Mariah stripping. I'm sorry. What was the end of end of that sentence? So, I would like I would like her to maybe like strip down a song that we already have, like Vision of Love. Um, please don't do Always Be My Baby. I've heard enough of Always Be My Baby. I love the song. It's a classic. It's <laughs> iconic. But I don't need to hear it every single time. Um, so like like Vision of Love or The Roof or like something that she's really like close to like that sort of thing i'd like to see her do some new material however she is a perfectionist and like she's, she's said for years and years and years um even though she hasn't been you know alive that long um that she you know when she's laying down her vocals it's only her and an engineer it's never like tom dick and harry so yeah, <laughs> that's a very British sound. They'd be just like, "Who's Tom? Who's Dick? Who the fuck's Harry?" <laughs> Another guy in the uh, middle. <laughs> you met him a, f- a few times. Um, <laughs> I think it would be strangely intimate to see Mariah actually have a camera in 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 like you know that kind of booth moment with her. I don't know. Um, okay, so masterclass. Let's wait and see. I think it's a great idea as a premise because it really is taking people that are uh, well. <laughs> and then I, I said this in the group chat, right, with Taz. I was taking people to the top of their craft. You're like, wait, I thought you said Christina just did it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, but she's she, she's she's sleeping with the producer. Like, apparently he produces them. That was her in. That's I don't know. Name. We'll see. We'll see. And the only like, other thing I want to touch on briefly is we're getting these digital releases. Shout out to channel member, um, ch- uh, member of my YouTube channel and... um previous guest here on the pod Zoltan Zoltan Spost on Apple Music 7th of, I think 7th of December Nath we were gonna watch um here is Mariah when um you were down and we we just got far too occupied you know doing everything else but but I'm like oh now I'm gonna rewatch them because now I'm I get to purchase them all on Apple Music and I'm gonna have that you know on, on on iTunes and everything so um and we, we're getting um Tokyo Dome so we're getting pretty much all of the existing concerts that have been released i'm like but i really really want more mc30 i want rainbow i want butterfly tour i want charm bracelet tour i want all of these but i don't know mc30 is over yeah well we got joy to the world um ep without the mc30 little badge because it can't now because it's mc31 so i i think maybe i think that was just like a little let's just flick them a little something just to you know get them warmed up and now we've got the song and then they'll be the special i don't know i don't know but i was surprised we're getting these home video releases that's a great little i was like well that feels like mc30 stuff you know because it's it's you know previous stuff and i thought we were done getting previous things and then we got the joys of the world and then we're getting the home the home video collection i was very shocked i um i'm not really with it um i can tell you're not well what was i saying um (laughs) you're entertaining me um, look, look, I'll think on it, think on it. Look, I, I need, I need to, I need to do, I need to play spin pin or bin with you guys. We're right out of time. Dimitri appreciating the jingle there. Thank you. Thank you. So quick reminder of the rules. I'm going to have three songs chosen at random. One is spin, keep it, love it, play it now. One is pin, like, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. And bin is, yeah, I can say goodbye, I never get to play it again. You have to allocate one to spin, one to pin, and one to bin. And we are now doing Christmas songs only. There goes my freaking camera again. Okay, right, bear with me. Oh my God, this whole, this this <laughs> this show is falling apart today. While I'm fixing my camera, I'm gonna give you the songs. Okay, I'm hitting shuffle. 
if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll be back. Um, right, the three songs are One Child, Little Snowman, and, oh my God, okay, All I Want For Christmas Is You, So, So Deaf Remix. So, Ooh. One Child, Little Snowman, and All I Want, So, So Deaf Remix. Spin, pin, or bin. Nathan, I'm going to come to you first. What's it going to be? Whoa. What do you think? The annoying thing is, they're three of my favourites. Um, so I would say Finn would be one child because I just love the gospel and you know mm -hmm. what Christmas is all about um, to some people and my pin would be we're in suspense I don't know I don't know um, I'm going to say All I Want For Christmas Is You, So It's A Death Remix, purely for the fact is that I love, like, singing along to the whole, like, um, <clears throat> like when, is it Missy Elliott that's like, excuse me? Like, that, you know, I just love the that, whole, isn't like. Isn't that Marianne or someone? That's one of her backing singers, I believe. I think it's Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott's not on that track. Um, and it's somebody. Um, it's no, time. it's the brat. No, I, I don't. I don't think it is. Anyway, bin, um, and then the throwaway, the bin would be. It pains me to say, little snowman. Okay, I'm going to check now. <laughs> Dimitri, what do you do with one child, little snowman, and all I want, so so deaf? So, I mean, I wish it was different, but. Um, yeah, so my spin would be one child. My pin would be all I want for Christmas is you, so, so deaf. And my bin would be a little snowman. Um, I was hoping Nate was going to say something different as he was going because I already knew what I was going to say. But, yeah, it's the same. Um, yeah. The the bin the bin was pretty easy for me though. It wasn't as tough as it was for Nate. No, so I, I'm gonna agree with you guys, but I do really like Little Snowman. <laughs> it's deliberately like it, it it's meant to be like that. It's meant to be kitsch and camp and a little bit silly. I love yeah. it. But one child gives me the feelings. All I want so so deaf I, is so slick and smooth and sexy. I I and I love it. Um and Little Snowman, it, it just doesn't quite match. <laughs> so I have to say goodbye uh, to that one. But that was spin pin or bin. And Nate is desperately looking up some um credits on the song. Very quickly, have you got anything to add to the convo? Yeah, on the day to fix C D, the one that she doesn't like, because she's like, Oh, it's released today. Oh hey. <laughs> um it says featuring Jermaine Dupri and Little Bow Wow. Yeah. I swear to God, I've read or I've seen it's it's Marianne or it, it's, yeah, it's not like, it's not like a featured artist moment. I think, I think. Guys, correct us, correct I us, teach us. I'm always brat. happy. Always happy. To, you thought it was Missy Elliott a minute ago, then you switched to the brat. <laughs> I'm sure it's the brat. <laughs> okay okay um right we need to kind of like wrap up for time um but dimitri um you're working on a little something something you're getting very very festive um i can just see from your 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 little setup there i can see like multiple trees i know well, a part of them is because you've got mirrors and stuff in the background but you're getting festive you've teased a couple of things on your social media we're only uh mid-november right now so it's a little bit early but what can you tell the children about what's happening over in your part of the land well you have to wait and see no i'm just kidding i can you're very I curious you. very curious um, have to wait and see curious <laughs> <laughs> um so I am working on something very festive for Mariah, not officially for Mariah, um, but it's as a gift from the Lambs to Mariah. Um, it is one of the most like professional projects that I've ever done before. Um, and yeah, I've just gotten a lot of Lambs from LA involved. Um, it's going to be to a Christmas song. Um, and yeah, you have to follow me on Instagram and you'll get little snippets here and there. And it's, I'm actually, I'm just really excited. It's going to be very, very, very festive. All the lambs who are involved are just very invested and it's going to be a great time. 
I can't wait. I'm really excited for you because I know how much um, like effort you're putting into it and you've shared a little couple of little teasers and snippets with me and the boys and it's going to be uh, so much fun. Remind everyone where they can follow you online to make sure they're up to date and everything. So my Instagram is very confusing. It's just Dimitri, but with so many eyes. Um, so it's Dimitri with two eyes. You guys will have to look in the, <laughs> in the I'll bio. I'll put it in the here. description. I'll put it in the description. And uh, and, yeah, and, and YouTube as well. YouTube, YouTube. You've been there reacting to Fallen Over Christmas. So I need to go and get you yeah. on Instagram and on YouTube. And Nath, uh, remind the kids where they can find you. I'm Nate Moore, spelt and Nate with a Y um, everywhere. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. You do Pinterest? Uh, YouTube. Uh, of course I do, darling. I never got um, my head around Pinterest. I, I love Pinterest. Bored. I like it as a concept. I use Pinterest more for work. I use it more for work. But, yeah. Okay. And on that note, we'll be signing off and uh, say goodnight, boys. Thank you so much. It was a bit last minute, particularly you joining, Dimitri. You're like in the group chat, like, room for one more and I'm like of course of course come on down <laughs> thank you guys so so much I and, moment um, work. Uh, oh yeah. gosh, you're, off to, you're off to work and we're off to bed let's leave it there <laughs>